Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and today I wanted to share with you 15 plus long denim skirt looks. <laughs> so the long denim skirt is a newer piece for me in my closet. Um, I've actually never owned a long denim skirt before. I have had short, you know, regular denim skirts uh, when I was younger. Um, but the, as everyone knows, the denim skirt is super popular this year. So on my uh, search to find the perfect one, I ended up with a few. So today I'm gonna be styling four in at least 15 different ways. So if you have a denim skirt or you've been thinking of getting a denim skirt and wonder how the heck are you gonna wear it, um, then just keep watching because I have lots of great ideas for you. And the first skirt that I'll be styling is this, I'd say lighter wash, uh, front slit, um, long denim skirt from Mango. And I have to say, I think that this one is my favorite. I have had it the longest, so I have got to style it the most ways, but I do find that I reach for this one the most. Um, and actually it's funny because my husband makes fun of me at how much I've been wearing denim skirts lately, but you can honestly just put it in place of what, however you normally wear denim, um, you know, jeans, uh, just swap that, those things out and it just makes your whole outfit look more stylish, um, which leads me into the first look. So I would say the most classic and basic way to wear the denim skirt is with a t-shirt. Um, I don't prefer um, logo t-shirts or anything like that. So I actually just paired it with a um, really nice cotton v-neck tee. And to keep that classic elevated stylish look, I would say go for a high quality um, white t-shirt. I prefer a v-neck. I think it's slimming. I think it look it looks dressed up. Um, and then having it crisp and clean and obviously white <laughs> is key. So if your white tees are looking a little dingy, which they seem to do after a few years, um, there's plenty of great high quality. Um, you can get you know the Pima or uh, what is this one the the trademarked uh, Supima cotton, 100% cotton, really soft, nice, thick uh, tees for like 20 bucks at different stores. So um, this is a brand that I like and sells really good ones from LL Bean and I, I think they were around 20 bucks. So great um, white tee to pair with your denim. And my go-to bag is actually just this <laughs> carry all um you know lv bag i've had for several years i just find that it goes with everything so when i don't know which bag to carry or i don't want to pull one out you know down from my closet i usually i kind of have like three that i always have in rotation and then usually if i'm going somewhere or i need to change it out for a different one then um, you know, I'll pull them out, but I kind of have like my favorites that I keep in rotation. I do that with my shoes too. Like I have a ton of shoes, but I s will go through phases where I'm wearing like the same five or whatever. <laughs> so for this first outfit, um, the long denim skirt, uh, some of my favorite newer uh, camel colored, very comfortable loafers, My one of my favorite bags which is just I, I think it can look casual or dressy and then a matching belt to kind of pull it all together and this I think this you know basic look or classic look is just elevated and stylish and um, I've worn this ac actually this simple laid-back look out um, around town to run errands and you know, people are always asking me about my skirt. So it definitely is stand out-ish and people are interested in that look. So you would look very stylish just with this classic look. And ladies, for the second look, um, although it's not a bright color, <laughs> I just threw on a soft pink uh, V-neck tee. 
The sleeves are a little bit different. I'd say a little bit longer and folded. And so you can also uh, recreate this look with any uh, t-shirt that you like, you know, and I think just tucking it in. So the first look with the belt, I tucked the whole thing in to give it more of a, um, you know, polished look. But for this second V-neck look, a little more casual with just the front tuck and then just some, uh, I think they're faux suede. So any kind of material loafers, just, you know, something light and casual and then a little knit bag kind of keeps the whole look um, more relaxed and, um, but still, you know, definitely not frumpy and cute for the day. All right, and for look number three, um, one of my go-to tops for all outfits is a satin cami. Um, I think that, you know, the satin cami can elevate any outfit. Um, just the movement and the lightness um, just kind of adds an elegance, a sophistication to any outfit. So if you're ever, you know, wondering, you, you know, you don't want to be creative and you normally wear t-shirt and jeans, just swap out your t-shirt for a satin camisole. You can find them anywhere. And yes, they range in price anywhere from $10 to a hundred. So you can certainly find one to try out and see if you like the style, but it just makes your outfit look more chic. And so for this look, um, I did add the satin camisole, but to kind of keep it laid back, I paired it with one of uh, the purses that I currently have in rotation. This is a newer one that I actually picked up at the Coach Outlet this year um, for that straw bag look, but I always still like a kind of a structured purse. Um, even though some of mine have a relaxed look, even like the first one that the bag, it, it kind of has a slouchy, a little bit relaxed look, but it's not, it's still pretty structured. Um, so I, I, that's kind of the look that I prefer. Um, so I paired it with this straw, uh, straw and cream colored handbag that I recently picked up and then some leather slides. And I think that that, I think the satin, you know, silky look of the shirt paired with all of the rest of the casualness, just as a good mix of, you know, stylish, but not trying. Um, so I think that's a great everyday look. And then to elevate this outfit, say you needed to pop into the office or maybe you're going out to dinner or just needed to be a little bit warmer or a little dressier, um, I would, I just popped on a leather blazer, um, which I love because it's not, you know, just your average blazer. It's just a little more stylish, a little more chic. Um, and then because it is, you know, still a spring and summer look, I paired this with my white um, kitten heel sandal thongs and, and then just a beautiful white purse that I've had for a while. Uh, but Remember ladies, you're getting inspiration from these looks. So it doesn't have to be a leather blazer. It doesn't have to be, you know, the same white purse. Um, it's just to get the idea on how to, you know, put these kind of textures and colors together and um, recreate them from things that you already have in your closet. And a quick little tip, um, if you wear black, <laughs> which I'm sure everyone does, um, I love these little uh, makeup washcloths because they are great to spot clean your clothes, particularly darker colors, so black and navy. Um, sometimes I'll get makeup or something on them, and it's weird because I actually find like, <laughs> well, in a different way. So it's harder to keep my makeup off of black clothes but then you know food off of white clothes so um, anyway so these are helpful and uh, you know everything that I talk about in the video I will try to link below if it's not available then I'll just put something similar for you to take a look at and um, luckily most places nowadays have great return policies so if something doesn't work out for you um, 
you know, you could always return it. And so those were the first few looks with the mango front slit denim maxi skirt. And I do find it easier to um, upstyle that skirt because there is no frayed hem um, and it has, you know, I guess an appropriate length <laughs> slit in the front. Um, so it's just, it's just easy. There's nothing like too off about it or too, too different. So I would say it's pretty classic and can be easily styled up or down. And the next skirt that I'll be styling for you today is this one from Free People. It's very long and it has no slits. And just for reference in the pictures, I am 5'8", so I am tall. This skirt, I would say, is um, my least fitted, so it's a little bigger and it has no slits. So I can definitely, I definitely think I would wear this a lot more in the, um, in the fall and winter. So it's gonna be great for all year round. And today actually was pretty cold outside, so I could certainly tell it was keeping me warmer from the wind than the other skirts. So depending on the climate that you live in, keep that in mind because you can definitely wear a long denim skirt uh, in cooler weather and, and it'll keep you warm. And of course, uh, certainly if you're wearing boots and everything, because uh, this one did not let the airflow go in. So it was perfect for spring but I don't think I'll be wearing it in the summer. Uh, but I have some great looks with this skirt for you today. Okay, for this maxi uh, denim skirt look, uh, I wanted to do kind of a classic spring look. And so I did pair that with um, just a basic white tee. This is actually one that I got from Amazon, just a normal tee, and then a linen button up shirt. This is a great cover up to throw on anything. Um, I'm sure that you probably own some linen things and if you don't, all of the hype about linen is because it's so breathable. So if you do like to layer, um, you know, sometimes I'll like to throw on an, an extra layer either for style or to cover things. So certainly if I'm wearing a white tank top, it is less forgiving than a black tank top. So I will most definitely have another layer on just to make sure there's no rolls sticking out. And you know, it does obviously help slim your arms down and bust and all of that if that is a concern to you. So it just gives like a more, you know, sleek and finished look. And while doing it, you just look more stylish anyway. So if it's warm, a linen cover-up is the way to go. So for this look, um, I did just do the white uh, tank top tucked in with a linen shirt over, and then some really cute uh, espadrilles that I picked up on at, at J. Crew. Um, again, I'll link everything below if if it's still available but um, these are a linen color shoe and they have like little specks of gold which i love gold anyway and you know since gold is trending this year you can find like really cute little gold detailed items all over the place and then i just paired that whole look with a really cute um just straw bag that i actually picked up on shein and it's great if you're just going to lunch with your friends or gonna do a little light shopping. You could just fit, you know, a small wallet and your phone in there. And this is a great spring and summer look. All right, and then for the next look, I paired the skirt with this cream colored, I call it a spring sweater because that is when I wear them. Um, I love a, I love a light sweater and so it's not a whole sweater it's a shirt sweater and this has a really cute I think like romantic feminine little puff sleeve so a thing that I do is when something is trending like the puff sleeve shirts have been I never went for any of the huge really fluffy you know out there <laughs> Uh, well, out there for me, they look great on some people. It, you know, my style is just a little more classic and, you know, understated, but stylish is how I would describe it. Um, so I do like to incorporate the trendy items, but I guess in a more classic 
style or way. So I think that this um, kind of subdued puff sleeve is just um, like, gives like a little feminine flair. And so it pairs great with the same uh, linen and gold espadrilles, the J. Crew ones. And then to keep this look casual, I did pop on a cream colored belt with a little bit of gold, um, kind of just to pull the gold from different places, but to make it more like everyday wearable and not too standout-ish, um, just a knit or like crocheted bag that I got. And I think this is a great spring look. Um, you could wear this anywhere. It looks stylish and cute and feminine and put together. Um, a great, you know, not trying look. <laughs> and then if you needed to um, kind, if it was cooler or you um, wanted something maybe not that quite that casual, then um, because there is no slit in this skirt, I was actually able to pair it with my beige booties and I love wearing booties. All of my booties only have a two inch heel or right around there. So it makes them very walkable. And then of course you wear socks with booties and I love all my socks. So <laughs> it's just really comfortable. I mean, my some of my most comfortable shoes are my boots and booties because um, I love wearing them so much. So I was sure to get things that were comfortable for me and walkable. So again, this long skirt is easy to pair with really any kind of shoe and, and then just a little bit peeps out. I mean, you could even wear flip-flops and, and the whole rest of the top would look nice because you can't even really see the shoes. And then of course I paired it with my go-to bag. This is actually um, like my most worn purse. I don't even remember what it's called. I've had it so long, but I find I can wear this with white, any of the neutrals, which is what I'm normally wearing, and even black. So these colors just elevate and look great. And for this next look, I pulled out all of the blue, or not all, but a lot of my blue. Um, I am a neutrals gal, so I'm, I'm mostly in the earth tones, but uh, I do have some colors. I know, you're shocked. <laughs> so for this look, um, I have this blue, button up a uh, Swiss dot top. Um, it has gold buttons. And this is a top I got from Shein. And I like it cause it's real lightweight, uh, great for spring and summer and adds a little color. Um, and then I have some navy slides and then a blue purse. And even though all these blues aren't the same shade of blue, it kind of still gives a whole like blue monochromatic vibe. So you can certainly do that. And I would encourage you to do that. So, you know, if you have a yellow top and maybe a brighter yellow bag, put them together and you can always do a skin color shoe. So regardless of, you know, whatever you're doing on the, the rest of the outfit, um, a go-to is a neutral or a skin color, um, shoe. So anything closest to your skin color. So, so I love this all blue look. I think this is a great spring and summer look. It looks um, well thought out and planned, but it's it gives you like that casual trying not trying look, which is I think a look that a lot of people like. But on the day to day, I think you want to look stylish, but not like over trying. And that is why, I, that is what I feel that the denim skirt does. It is like you threw on your normal blue jeans outfit, you know, and you just have whatever top and cute person shoes. But when it's a skirt, it just is so much more stylish. So try it out if you haven't, and I guarantee you'll get compliments people are going to notice. Oh, and I forgot to mention my earrings in this look. So I call these my sassy earrings and ladies, you should have a pair of sassy earrings. Like some just like, they don't have to be hoops. I love hoops. So I have hoops in all different, all different kinds <laughs> um, for different occasions. And so these ones are way bigger than I usually uh, wear and, and fancy, like they're a name brand one, but um, they're, they're just 
a statement piece, I guess. Like, so it's kind of a, if you know what they are, then you know, but like most people wouldn't even know what they are. So um, I think that they add a little, um, like I said, sass to your outfit. So my all blue outfit was kind of understated and, you know, chill. And then I think the earrings are like, uh, what's going on there, <laughs> but in a good way. And so um, you could do this with any kind of, you know, big wild earring that you like. Um, that's kind of what I like to do too is, so I love like, you know, a classic, you know, timeless, sophisticated, whatever you want to call it kind of outfit. And then I like to add the, I guess, spice in the shoes or the purse or the earrings or something like that. Um, and still in an understated way for me personally, but, um, I just think that's a fun way to kind of incorporate, uh, different looks into your closet, but without going too crazy in your clothes because the way that I've shopped in the last 10 years, but really even five, I have so many good things to pick from. Like even making this video, I, I could go on and on and on. I had to be like, okay, <laughs> stop. like this is good. Stop here. Um, because when you have things that can mix and match and really I could mix them, I could probably make a hundred outfits with just these pieces. So, um, you could, you could probably see how you could mix and match a lot of these and, and come up with different outfits as well. So when you have like classics, basics, like nice, timeless looking, um, items, it, it's just so easy to pair things together. And that just makes life so much easier easier because you just want to get out the door, but be stylish and not really spend too much time on it. And that's another reason why these videos are great. Um, because I feel like they do inspire and that's what I wanted to do with my channel is, is give other ladies ideas on how to pair things together, how to shop, um, and just like daily tips and tricks on outfits and, and things to do with them. So, um, I hope that you are enjoying this uh, video and if you are, remember to like and subscribe. I am a newer creator on YouTube and I would sure appreciate it. And let's keep going. All right, and talking about sass, uh, this next outfit is a little something as well. So not my everyday casual. I would say this is, you know, maybe if I was going to dinner with the girls or maybe even on vacation or maybe a date night or something like that. So it is a little extra, but it is casual enough to be day ready as well. So kind of up to your personality. Um, but I have this really cute gold uh, tank. I think I got this at Anthropology, I think. And so to me, this is an evening top, but I wanted to wear it in the day. So, um, I just popped on my, uh, jean jacket. This is actually my most worn and favorite, uh, jean jacket. I actually, between my jean, probably my jean jacket and, um, linen tops is usually what I pop on the most in the spring and summer. And then you'll see in a little bit, um, I recently finally found a linen blazer. Uh, so if you didn't see my banana Republic haul, I'll link that and uh, check that out. I, when I finally found it, <laughs> it was pretty exciting. So uh, for this next look, the gold uh, tank top with a jean jacket, I think it kind of tones it down, but you can kind of still see that gold. So very stylish, maybe you're going, you know, wine tasting with your friends or a birthday party or something like that. And then you still have that long skirt. So that kind of keeps it uh, a little more modest, a little more conservative um, and warmer, depending on uh, if it's still a cooler spring or night. And then some uh, Kitten Hill gold heels that I had and then dug in the closet and pulled out an old gold and black purse that I had as well. So this whole look is a little fancier and you can certainly recreate this look um, these days because gold is trending this year and I am finding gold accented items everywhere. So uh, keep an eye out for them. If you wanted to try incorporating some gold into your outfit, uh, 
I think a tank is a great, a tank or even a sandal is a great way to do it because it's not the bulk of your outfit, but it's just a little, a little pop, like a little pop of color. And so great spring and summer outfit. All right, we're on to the third skirt. And the third skirt is um, this one with, it, it's a light wash with this kind of uh, blue, dark blue and raw hemline. And it's from Fashion Nova. It has a back slit. So um, again, each slit style to me, then it dictates different things that you have to do. <laughs> so, um, for this next look because it kind of gives you like the the streamline in the front right like it is like a modest conservative um full length or full skirt but then in the back you have you know that slit and depending on how high it is is kind of your shoe choice so for this first look to keep it spring and summery i um, paired the skirt with uh this really cute halter neck or is it mock neck a halter top uh, i forget what they call it um i guess crocheted or knit top and it's a top that i picked up from banana republic it is see-through so it is the knit and that is the whole thing <laughs> so you just wear a skin color bra under you could wear a tank top too but for me it's kind of all the same color and and I don't think it's that noticeable. I, when I've worn it, no one's been like, ah, you're only wearing a bra. Now, I wouldn't wear it everywhere, but you know, there are, if it's hot and you know, you're gonna run errands or something, I just don't think most people would notice. So, depending on how you feel about that, that is a thing. <laughs> and so, um, I paired it with that and then um, some really cute uh, sketcher sandals that I picked up on Amazon. And originally when I bought them because I wanted some comfy sandals like this. And at first I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna need to cut some of those straps off. But when I got it, um, the whole sandal looked really cute. And of course it's sketchers, so it's super comfy, very light shoe. And so uh, it's like the same color as the top. So it's like, I would call it linen colored. Um, I, although neither of those items are linen, but, um, so they're both in that like kind of cream color, but like a linen color, the top and the shoes. And then, um, because the whole outfit was kind of giving me like beach, like a net, like a fishing net. <laughs> so beach vibes. Um, I just paired it with this, uh, straw bag. Um, and it's just a little bag that I picked up on Shein. And um, yeah, I think this is a great uh, spring and summer look. And the top is unique, but classic. So I think the cut and style is classic and the color, but um, you know, the crocheting and I guess semi sheerness of it is the more modern and um, you know, trending look. So great uh, spring and summer look here. And I think we're on look 10 now. <laughs> and so for look 10 with the Fashion Nova um, skirt, which is the second look for that one, I paired this striped tank from Zara with this um, gauzy button up from Shein. And that kind of gives just a cool like island or beachy vibe. Um, I think it's a great spring and summer look and kind of my go-to as I had mentioned before, you know, uh, I'm not going to wear a white tank top. I, I might, but probably not. Or I might have a, a, a cover up in my purse or car <laughs> because uh, you never know. And um, it, like I said, it just looks, you know, more stylish and it helps to be more forgiving. And so um, paired this top with the Fashion Nova skirt and then paired that with a, my straw and cream colored purse. Um, it, it's just one of my go-to purses. So, um, you know, and I think white and navy kind of goes great with um, the neutrals. So any of the neutrals, any of the creams or browns, it, it's always a good color to incorporate in there. 
and then just to keep it to keep from adding too many colors in i just uh, went with my clear strap wedges which is a no fail if you ever don't know what to pair or you're kind of tired of wearing your nude color shoes clear strap shoes are a great option and moving right along to the next outfit um paired my neutral colored uh cashmere sweater uh, this is actually from lily silk with the skirt and then my beige booties and then the same cream and white um purse and this is a uh, another great trying not trying look so I think it looks well thought out but it looks like you know a stylish woman would just wear it like you just like threw it on and went out the door because um, the pieces together are all beautiful or the pieces are all beautiful and then together it just looks stylish so that's what I'm saying like when you have like you know quality and it doesn't a lot of people say quality and and i do like quality pieces i have nice pieces but i don't mind buying some lower costing items i think that you can make them look very nice um i just i don't know if i would ever have like all just be so oh everything must be cotton silk and cashmere i don't i don't think that i would ever do that um I don't know, I like shopping too much, number one. <laughs> but um, two, I just like the pieces to fit well and look well and um, look good together. And I have no problem pairing, <laughs> you know, a Gucci or Chanel purse with a Shein shirt. So <laughs> I have them, I'm gonna use them. And if they look good together, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> So um, my cashmere sweater with this outfit is great for a cooler, windy spring day, and uh, could go to di you could go to dinner in this, run errands or anything, and it looks stylish and chic. And now we're at look number twelve, and one of my favorite newer tops is this gold knit top that I purchased. I think last year. And you actually can't really see the gold, I think from far away, but it's a thicker material. And so I love it because it is forgiving. So I can actually wear it, um, you know, just as a shirt. And when I say just as a shirt and just wear it like that, I mean that my bra is not going to show through, uh, rolls aren't going to show through, um, and it, it just kind of like lays nice. You know, sometimes some tanks are really thin or the material is really thin and it's just not forgiving. You can see your bra through it, you can see, you know, rolls and whatnot. And so I, I, that is something I like about like a thicker knit or like, you know, sweaterish type of material. And, and if it's looser, that kind of keeps you cooler because of the airflow. And, um, and then if it's a little looser, you don't have to wear any like shaping garments. I actually don't like wearing shaping garments. So if my clothes aren't going to fit right, then I'm not going to wear them <laughs> gold top. And then just to make it a little more dressy and it was chilly today. So, you know, going for the spring look, I have a Navy, a faux suede Navy, uh, coat. And I like to put this over just to add color and, um, probably my go-to color items if I am going to do color because you know I love neutrals um, is a navy or a red so those are kind of my two favorites if I find something classy in those colors that I think will work with my work within my closet then I usually try it out so and I forgot to mention um, the darker blue hemline on the skirt is what kind of motivated me to um, match the darker blue too so i think i might do that um with the whole blue theme too so there's just so many ways you could keep going and going with restyling these skirts they're just i love them so much and i can't wait till fall and winter i'm gonna have so many great outfits i i almost don't even need my like normal jeans anymore <laughs> which is great because i'm kind of not loving wearing my boot cut anymore and so i've kind of been switching over to wide leg but i don't have that many so this is a great in between for the spring and summer until i decide or find 
the right fits. But anyway, moving on. I hope this video doesn't end up too long. I talk so much, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, the next skirt is another mango skirt. So this is, uh, I got this when I got the first one and um, it's a little more fitted um, and I'd say a little more casual because it does have the hemline, uh, the raw hemline and the colored hemline, unlike the first that is just more, you know, perfectly uh, finished off. But this one, similar to the first one, has a front slit. So for the first look on the last skirt, which is skirt number four, we're on look 13. <laughs> so we're almost getting there. Um, I styled it with this white, um, I, I would call it a spring sweater because it isn't warm enough to wear in the uh, fall and winter alone. And it it is like, it does have cutouts or like little, you know, I don't even know what to call it, but some see-through items. And uh, I think I got this on Amazon. And so on, it gives me kind of like that feminine, it has a the slight puff sleeve and it gives me that like feminine vibe, like a romantic vibe. And so I was like, oh, this is so pretty, you know, um, I feel like it looks so pretty when when it's on and so I wanted to pair it kind of keep that romantic vibe going and so I thought oh my pearl sandals <laughs> so I pulled out the pearl sandals and um, I just think it gives an uh, it's just interesting the the I think the top is interesting and I think the shoes are interesting and it's another uh, you know chic and uh, feminine and stylish outfit that is a trying not trying like the the pieces are obviously thought out and planned and like unique but together it's kind of just a casual you know denim and white outfit and so I just think that looks really good and stylish and you could wear this one as well anywhere. So another great uh, warm, warmish, coolish weather look. All right, and now for the next look, um, it starts off with a basic white tank top. This one is a ribbed tank top and it's just from Lulu's. It is a little more sheer, but I don't wear a white tank top out by itself anyways. Um, it is the least forgiving of, of all tops. <laughs> a white fitted tank top. Um, but it looks great, right? And it makes you look tanner when you wear white against your skin. Um, and it just is white such a great color on any skin tone for for all year, all year. I mean, anyone looks good in white, whether it's casually or professionally. If you are anywhere, I mean, at just think when you were at a, a barbecue or something and someone walks in wearing even jeans, white jeans and a white t-shirt, you're just like, ah, like it just looks so good. And it's so basic, but it's just like nobody does that. And it's so hard to do, but it always, it, it that's a great, like trying, not trying look. Like obviously you thought I'm gonna wear all white and that's already brave. And then you did it and it just looks good. So anyway, <laughs> so a white tank top um, and then my new white blazer, which I'm so happy to have because, I, well, I love linen um, for one, but uh, I have been looking for a white a linen blazer for for a while um, I, I'm just super picky about blazers and if you haven't seen my last few hauls I have blazers in all of them <laughs> and so since I have the denim skirt and then a white top white uh, blazer I thought to make this pop let's add some color so I pulled out my red sandals and a red purse and both of these pieces I actually picked up on Amazon all right, ladies, we are at outfit 15. If you've made it this far, thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> and I think this is my first black incorporation. Cause you know, I, I, there was a time when I used to wear black all the time. My kids would make fun of me. They would literally open up my closet and be like, mom, like literally 
they'd be like, are you emu? <laughs> I think that's what they called it. I don't remember. Um, they're like, why do you have so much black? And it, you know, I've been different sizes and when my kids were littler, I was heavier and I did wear black a lot and it's just easy, you know, it's easy. And this is before I had kind of a good style and going on. So this was when I was just like crazy shopper. Well, I'm still crazy shopper, but <laughs> I'm more thoughtful now, but I used to shop all the time, I guess, a little mindlessly I would just do it like whatever I needed and I would get it you know and or I loved it and then it would go into my closet and I would wear it a little bit and then I would find you know the year would go by and I I'm like Ugh, I never wear that or I've only worn it once or twice and you know I would keep it around for a year or two and then after that I have to get rid of stuff because I'm still getting stuff right and so I would do like actual spring cleaning. I know people do that and, and I still do it, but like I will pull out maybe like half a bag or a bag of things that um, I'm not gonna wear. Whereas before I would have like four or five trash bags of stuff. That's how I measure things in trash bags. <laughs> but you know what I mean? If you've cleaned out your closet, you just kind of throw everything in there and then take it to the Goodwill or I would take it to the, you know, woman's shelter or something like that. But, um, it, it's, it, although they're going to good causes, it's also so wasteful, you know, but I was young. I didn't know. I was also different sizes. I also had four kids and worked and I was just kind of out of my mind and style and fashion. And that was not so thoughtful to me um, and I wish it was because oh my gosh I, I wasted a lot of money <laughs> on clothes over the years but you know it was fun and I learned a lot so anyway on off on a tangent I'm sorry <laughs> so black tank top um, looks great on its own all on its own with a straw and black straw and black purse is just a cool and casual outfit. Um, I like to wear uh, skin colored or nude shoes, sandals these days, but you could certainly wear black sandals with this. I actually kind of like toyed with the idea. I'm like, mm, should I wear my black sandals? But I, I kind of have them semi-retired. They now feel like, I feel like I would wear them maybe more in the fall and winter, like with a dress than in the spring and summer. In the spring and summer, I really kind of more like to do the clear strap or the nude or linen colored or something like that. A little, something a little lighter more than black shoes. Um, but anyway, so black tank top. And then um, this is a kind of an interesting piece that I picked up and I'm still kind of on the line with it, but it's, it's newer. Um, I got this at Chico's which um, is not a store that I normally shop at, but I find some good things there every now and then. And I always laugh because I found some really, I found a gorgeous uh, camel colored leather blazer there. And I was like, how is this not sold out? Like if that was on any other site, it would be sold out. But I think a lot of the younger people or a lot of people don't shop there and and maybe the clientele that normally shops there isn't really into leather that much <laughs> but i was thrilled because i had been looking for like two years for an affordable one but leather is expensive so i mean i didn't expect it to be super cheap but um you know also i don't need to pay crazy prices for it because i don't like to do that anymore um Anyway, so this looks like it has, I guess, like a zebra pattern and it is sheer. So, you know, um, a pattern top. It also has a puff sleeve and it's sheer. So there's kind of a lot of trends going on here. And I just think that there's so many ways to style this. And over the years, like you would be surprised at how many pieces uh, are unique like this that I will keep and then some new trend will come along and it'll be popular. So I like that it has like a slight puff sleeve and I don't have a black puff sleeve. And then I like that it's sheer, so there's kind of some different things you could do with that. And then it's still a button up. So uh, right now I have only styled it as a cover up and I think that's just perfect for now until I figure out what else to do with it, but kind of a, just a different, unique, but classic cut 
because it's still just a button up and then it's in black so a little bit understated at the very least if i didn't find anything to wear it with i could wear it as a layer under you know sweaters or jackets in the fall and winter so um interesting piece and i almost forgot to include my outfit of the day <laughs> i had so many outfits to share with you i i almost forgot the one i was wearing for the day um so i was wearing the same um mango skirt and then just this i call it a cricket sweater i don't really know what it's called but you know this like british style <laughs> sweater uh this one i actually got from um dick's sporting goods store so i was looking for a new one because my older two don't fit me and maybe it's not that they don't fit me but they're fitted and I wanted like kind of a more oversized look so I actually did get this in an extra large and I love it I had actually ordered a couple newer ones from Ralph Lauren and they were too small so those didn't work out and so I found this one at Dick's and online and and then I just paired it with my clear strappy wedge sandals, kind of to give it that spring vibe. And then because the sweater is already like so big and, and cozy and warm, um, great for spring day. Uh, and it is spring, so then I think the sandals, the wedges keep it more springy. And then to kind of keep like a casual vibe, but a little pop of color, I added in my yellow bag and i love this bag it's huge which big bags are trending now so pulled out my big yellow bag and it's kind of like a softer yellow but i love navy and yellow together i think they look uh, classy and so i think this is a great uh spring summer look as well all right ladies thank you so much for sticking it out this far um, i appreciate you dropping in so much and i love hearing from you guys so be sure to leave your thoughts and comments below i do check them um, i am a newer creator on youtube and i would like i mean that was one of the reasons that i started uh, youtube is i want to talk to women who care about this kind of thing and so um you know leave me your thoughts good or bad i don't mind and any feedback too so um if there was information that i didn't put in that you would have liked to see that i should put in um, just let me know and i'll certainly try to do that in the future and um, if you could like and subscribe, that would sure help me out. I have so many ideas. Like I, I can't even film and edit and get, get them out fast enough. I don't, I don't have that much time, <laughs> but I, I, am just, I have a list and of like hundreds of ideas like in my notepad of uh, video ideas that I wanna do. And so subscribe so that you know when they come out. And I thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one and have a great day.